In this video, we'll learn how to solve an apportionment problem using Hamilton's method. Here's a typical problem. Suppose a nation has four states with populations shown below, and a representative body with 60 seats. How many seats should each state get? At this point, if you haven't watched the introduction video, you should click on the link here and watch that now. As we discussed in that video, we can compute the fair shares, and the fair shares add up to the 60 seats that we're looking for. But the problem is that those fair shares are decimals, and the number of seats that we assign to each state must be a whole number. So Hamilton's method gives us a way to solve this problem. The method says to round all of the fair shares down to what we call the lower quota. We'll add up those lower quotas, which will always add up to a number that's less than the number of seats that we're looking for, and that will tell us how many excess seats we'll have to be assigned. We'll assign those excess seats in priority order according to the decimal part of each fair share. That's a lot to digest, so let's see how this works out. So first off, we need to round the fair shares down, and those numbers that we get when we round them down give us the lower quota. So 21.47 becomes 21, 18.38 becomes 18, and so on. So essentially just chop off the decimal part and look at the number that's in front of the decimal. So when we add up those lower quotas, we get 58. But we're trying to assign 60 seats to this body, so that means we've got two extra seats left over that still need to be assigned. That's where the priority comes in. To figure out the priority for each state, we need to look at the decimal part of each of those fair shares. Remember, we chopped those off earlier, but now we need to actually pay attention to them. The largest decimal part, which in this case is for state D, that will be the state that has first priority. If we look at all those decimal parts, the next largest one is for state A, 0.47. That'll be second priority. Next up is B with 0.38. That'll be third priority. And then finally we have C, which is going to be in fourth priority. So now with those two extra seats that we have, we're going to figure out how many total seats to assign to each state. Since D had first priority, D gets the first extra seat. Since A had second priority, A gets the second extra seat. But now we're out of extra seats. Remember we had 58 from our lower quota. We're trying to assign 60, so we only had two left over. So now state B, which is in third priority, its quota stays the same. It started out with 18 seats, and now it's going to end up with 18 seats. C also stays the same with 12. Now what we should notice is that if we take those assignments and add them up, we get the 60 seats that we're looking for. So that's Hamilton's method.